What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. In the last Dynasty video, we took on then number one Texas in a big rematch from what we went through last season with them. Just a, a classic game there. And we came back with another victory, 23-6 to this time. We played really well offensively, defensively. It's a low scoring game. A lot of that was us running the clock, chewing up as much time as possible, keeping the ball away from their offense. And thankfully it worked out on top of, we didn't have any turnovers, which was a big plus. So now we're fourth in the country. We're two and zero, and today we're kicking off our conference schedule with a game against NC State. We haven't played this team any, this dynasty. This is part of the non-division non rotation. I should say, and it's been a while since I played this team. I didn't even scout them. I think they were in a pro-style offense, maybe even a spread offense. 4-3 defense, I'm pretty sure with that. But they're 1-1. One one. We got more talent than they do. Just looking at their stats, nothing really sticks out. They look like just your typical average team. Let's check out recruiting. We're going after three players. First off, Sergey Long, the tackle. We are number one on his list. We will stay there. Pretty much for the foreseeable future. We just can't figure out what he likes. We need to figure out what pitch he is into. Next up, David Roberts, the free safety. We moved up. Now we're number one on his list. Technically, we were tied with Florida State last week, if I remember. Uh, another situation where we just don't know what he's into. And the last one is guard Robert Madison. We are number one on his list. He's got it down to his top five. All three of these players do. And just looking at if I can even get to it. There we go. We don't have any feedback on uh, on his pitches and whatnot, so we just don't know what any of these three uh, guys like, but I'm not too worried about that. I think we're pouring so many points at these kids that that should overcome any obstacle we, we may have with those pitches. Let's check out the team info screens. There's no point in looking at conference standings. We haven't played any conference games yet, but the biggest problem we had in the last game was we had an injury. John Red, our top special teams returner, He's our number four wide receiver. He's our fastest wide receiver, but he's out pretty much the rest of the season. We may get him back for the last game of the regular season and probably the bowl game, but we got some bodies there at least. I'm not ready to take a red shirt off of somebody just yet. What I may end up doing is putting uh, using the tight end sub package for maybe an extra four wide set. We'll just see how that goes over the course of the season. But you look at the bottom stats, our leaders on offense, Gates, Horton, and Riley. That's probably going to stay the same, except for maybe receiving. We got Myrick, Riley, and Peterson. Those guys, I think, will go back and forth in terms of touchdowns and yards. Now, when it comes to defensive leaders, tackles-wise, Walker is leading that. But it wouldn't shock me if our boy Jimmy McCoy will lead that one down the road. We haven't had many sacks this season. We've only had one interception by one player. We may have had another interception by somebody else, but it's very early in the season, so I think the sacks and interception stats will uh, go up and down over the course of the season. Now let's check out NC State. They are in the other division right here, and it looks like they got a fullback out. I don't expect much from him unless he's an impact guy. You look at their offensive leaders. Quarterback is doing okay. They got a running back that's doing okay, a wide receiver doing okay. None of this really says a whole lot to me. They've only played two games, so who knows what we're about to get into, but it should be interesting. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things that I have in my store, starting off with the memory cards for the PlayStation 2 that has over 20 named roster files for all of the NCAA football games from 02 up to 11. And then, of course, I have all of my books that I have written over the years from my latest one, the West Coast Offense, the Out Raid Offense, and you got the Big Book of Tight Ends, the Power Shoot. Then you got the Eye Option, P.A. Reed, Pro Dog, Run and Shoot, and so much more. So I will have a link in the top right and in the description below. Oh, good deal. Looks like we have a pretty day for some football. I'm all for that. I'm excited to play NC State. It's been a long time since I've face them in any dynasty to be honest NC State's like your most average football program there is over the last 20 something years yes perfect weather they will not show any division standings since they are in the other division and here come your two blue devils this time I'm rocking the 
white pants with the blue jerseys and of course the blue helmets. I think I'm gonna switch it up every game just to show something different. And there he is, Justin Gates, having a pretty good start to the season so far. He played great against Texas, didn't make any big mistakes. We didn't throw the ball a whole lot either. They're picking us to win as expected. Let's go to the coin toss. Number four team in the country. That's pretty exciting. We have won the toss. I want the ball to start of second half. Those are good looking uniforms for NC State. I like the wolf pack on the side of the pants. Let's check out their roster. See what we're dealing with. Starting quarterback. 86 speed and he's a left hander. That's pretty cool to see that. Now, hopefully he doesn't run wild on us, so we're not going to blitz him too hard. Now, they have an impact running back, so this is like the nightmare scenario for any defense going up against a backfield like this. A speedy quarterback with an impact running back, so this is going to be quite the challenge today. And their impact running back, or halfback, I should say, is like their second best halfback, so he'll be on the field some. I'm sure they'll get him out there one way or the other. Fullback, their top guys out. I don't think they're going to use them a whole lot today. Wide receiver, 88, 85, and 80, 78. Not bad. Really good tight end. Maybe the most talented tight end in the conference, at least. 82 speed. He can catch. That's just an ideal tight end. You look at their offensive line. Ooh, pretty bad. We need to take advantage of this 70 overall left tackle. Then you got a 76, 91 at center. Pretty good. 78 and 84. So it looks like their center. And their right tackle are their strength on the line. You look at their defensive line. I think, again, they run a 4-3. 91 and 82 on the end. That's pretty good. Defensive tackle, 78 and 74. Linebackers, 62. That is awful. Hopefully he plays a ton today. He's a true freshman. 82 at middle linebacker. Like I said, I think they run a 4-3, so I'm not too worried about these guys. Uh, right outside the linebacker, 80 overall. Not bad. Corner, 76, 72. We need to take advantage of this. Hopefully our wide receivers can do some damage against these guys. Free safety at 80 overall, 92 speed. You got strong safety, 86 overall, 84 speed with an impact status. That's pretty good. We're going to try to stay away from him if we can today. 78 at kicker, true sophomore. That's actually not bad. And that may be the biggest kicker I've ever seen. Now, I've had some really big punters like in our Hawaii dynasty. I've already forgotten his name. We had like a 6'5", 200-plus pound punter. Look at this kid, 6'6", 211. Interesting. Punter, 80 overall. So their special teams isn't too bad. If you look at their kick return, of course, most of these teams are going to have mid to upper 90s for guys who can return the ball on special teams. So let's get into it, get this show on the road. I'm not seeing any impact guys on the back end. So I'm going to kick this down the middle. And we're off and running. Let's hope we don't have a letdown game. That can happen against a huge game against a team like Texas. And then the next game, we just don't play well. Hopefully that doesn't happen. We are not going to do any blitzing. I'm going to go with Nickel Man for now. Now, I haven't, I don't know what NC State's uniforms look like. I don't know if that gray up to, above the jersey is supposed to look like that. That may be glitched. That's something they can fix later if it is. He overshot that throw. That was deep outs. Oh, look at those helmets. Those are sweet. I'm going to go, man, I think they're going to run quite a bit. At least that's what I assume. When you got an impact running back. And... That's good. They got their top dude back there. Going to basic dive, and there he goes. Six points, just like that. Wow. That was the easiest run ever. I got ran over. You go back and look at this. That was a missed opportunity by the linebacker, and then I got destroyed by an offensive lineman, and it was all she wrote after that. Wow. So what that means is we are going to have to run some clock to stay away from these guys. That's just, I think that's the only way we may have a chance of winning today. I can do some cover one later on, but that's just, I don't think there's anything we could have done there. I mean, like I said, a linebacker goofed up on one and they had good blocking on the second level and the third level. So we will get the ball for the first time, see if we can tie it. I'm not going to give up on my cover two just yet. 
Let's see if Peterson could do something here. Nope, nobody blocked him. I think I may do something like tight end slot here, and we'll pick another one later. Let's do a toss play with Horton. So the R4-3. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the left. Nobody picked that dude up. Well, that's not what we wanted. Uh, second and 11, we can try deep outs ourselves. We're going man. Let's see, what are our options? I'm going to go do something like this. We're going to let Riley have a chance if they go cover zero. Like I said, I'm going to run clock. I'm going to get this down to as few seconds as possible. Just play good defense that way. Good throw. Right where it needed to be. Good catch by Myrick. A good play overall. Let's try. Let's go slam a court and see how he handles this. They're going man 4-3. I probably need to start flipping my plays to get away from that strong safety. We're going to go to the right this time. See if that helps. And again, we're going to just chew up as much clock as possible. And that gray at the top of the jerseys for NC State, that may be the real deal, and that's not an actual glitch. So their defense is pretty solid out of the gate. I think I may... Let's do another run play. Let's go toss with our speedster freshman. Don't shift to the left. Good deal. We're going to leave it as is. Choose some more clocks. So i got more time to talk about. Huh, kind of whatever's going on. This kid could take a team and put him on its shoulders. Next drive, I'm going to continue trying to do cover two. If that doesn't work, we can bring another man down. I'm not too worried about the defense just yet. As long as our quarterback doesn't run wild on us. Get a block right there. Good deal. Is he going to get there? We may get six points. Good deal. That's a good way to start right there on offense. Just enough. Good block by Ball. I need to reward him later. And none of those guys were fast enough to pick up Pero. Let's kick an extra point. We'll get back on defense. Try to figure out what to do there. And I think they're going to be a somewhat balanced team on offense. But they're going to run a little bit more. Just because, you know, when you got a backfield like that, you need to run the ball more. Let's kick this back off. This may go out of bounds. And just not a good kick in general. He's going to return it. Not a bad return. That was a good hit. I don't know. You, you never see a late hit call in this game. I didn't know. I think it, it probably is in the game, but I've never seen it. That was the one opportunity where we could have seen it. He might have gotten out of bounds early, though. And that's what we're going to deal with today, going up against that cat. Uh, let's go... I'm going to go 4-3. I think they're going to run it anyways. We did have a couple other injuries. We had two extra defensive ends got hurt, but... They didn't get hurt too badly. They're playing today. Third and three. I'm going to go man. I think they're going to run it. I think. We'll see. I'm going to do something like this. Get a stop. Get a stop, son. Get a stop. It took two of us, but we got him down. Okay, so we're going to go. They're on the 40. Let's go double cross. I will think they're going to come in to... I think they would come in to protect if I went all that block. So let's just try to make a decent return. Maybe we'll have a bad punt here. That was a pretty decent punt. Somebody get a block on the right. Get a block. Okay. Right hash. What can we do? Let's go RB deep. It's on my mind. We're going to go man. Safety's going to come down. I think I may go to ball on this one if they go cover zero, but they're going to go cover one. 
Good throw to Riley. Didn't get much out of it, though. Second and seven. Let's do a dive with Horton. Man, 4-3. And this ain't going to work. I even have an audible. I don't use audibles a whole lot. And I don't have anything special. Not really. I may... Let's do something like this. I call the wrong play. I think I may end up calling a timeout. Sometimes you just don't have the right, you know, audible. You only got five slots, so it's kind of tough. So I'll just call a timeout. I'm not going to lose a down on that one. All right, let's go receiving. All right, let's... Well, let's go back and do another toss play with Horton. Second and seven. Ball on the 21 yard I want to get him going. We need to get him going in order to have a chance to win the day. Not a big fan of that shift. We'll do something like this. No defense. Oh my. Here, look, just no blocking. I guess ball was going after the safety. He went after nobody. Very fortunate that wasn't a turn turnover. That's about as ugly uh, third and forever. Halfback circle. They're going man. Uh, it's going to be really close if I get the, hit the comeback. I kind of hope they go cover zero. We'll let the clock roll a little bit. Cover zero is probably our best chance. I could probably hit Peterson on the flag. That's going to be a really tough throw, though. Cover one. Oh, did we get it? That's super close. Ooh, we got it just enough. Wow. Ooh, my sign popped up. I don't know if you saw that or not. Just a great throw right here. Just a great play by Riley. Okay. Survived it a little bit, so we're still going. Let's pass it some more. They're running a ton of man. They're going angle. Or they're going man, sorry. <laughs> Let's do... I think we may do something like this. They're going cover zero. Ah, good defense. Good. They almost got sacked. They blitz through the B gap. I had to get it off real early. That's why the ball was short. Uh, let's try. I kind of feel like we need to pass some more. I think we need to... We're behind the chains. It's second and ten. They're double teaming him. The devil come out showing three Let me lines. do something like this. Gates. Cover zero. Let's it fly. Can I get there? Oh, thank the Lord that wasn't intercepted. That could have been bad. All right, third and ten. Well, uh, let's go back. Uh, let's do tie uh, deep outs. So another third down upcoming. Next time we're definitely going to run the ball if we can survive this. The clock has stopped. Duke comes to the line. Get a ah, just overshot it. So we're gonna have to punt it. No choice there. So that was a wasted opportunity for us stopping them, but that's okay. We're still tied. This should be right down the middle, or kind of down the hash mark. I'm gonna stay here. Somebody get a tackle. Good deal. That was a good flipping of the field. We'll go back and play some man. So, yes, again, next time we're going to go back to the run game. But their defense is playing pretty good on us right now. It's like, regardless of what we call, they're they're stopping it. Play action. Wide open. Wow. He just beat him badly. Linebacker didn't make a good cut on that one. I'll go back to man, cover two. This may be the last play. The previous one was. I don't think they're going to get this one off. So that's end of the first quarter. We're tied. But they are on the move, trying to score again. This time, let's do a cover one. They're going with a really big set. We'll do something like this. North Carolina State comes out with two tight ends. Hopefully that'll help. Play action. He still somehow caught that. I don't know. 
So second and what? Four? I'm going to stay in man. I think they're going to just hand the ball off to their halfback, but like I said, they've been fairly balanced so far. Oh, they're going with the quarterback play. Ah, oh, dang it. I went for the quarterback and the halfback went to that guy. That's good call on their part. You can go back and look. You can't see it. You'll have to go back and look, but I had a linebacker defending the quarterback. That's when you know it's that trick play. The wolf pack set up in the gun. Don't run to the left. He, oh, he's going to do a QB. I guess that was QB choice. That's a good stop. I'm staying man. I think they're going to run again. We'll do something like this. Going to throw it. I think we got a defensive tackle. Get a hand on it. Man, if we could hold him to a field goal, that'd be great. I'm going to go cloud. We're going to do a spot. To, no, we're going to flip it. Oh, I got, I got doubles here. Wide open. Ah, dang it, Al. I just completely goofed up on that one. He had all the... Yeah, just, I, I just messed up. I've done way too many spies, and I, I tried to flip it, and it didn't work. I got out of alignment at safety. And just like that, they're up another touchdown. We'll try to get it back. And with four minutes to go in the second quarter, our Again, what I said earlier, letdown games, it can happen, and right now we're just not playing good all of a sudden. We're going up against a team that's just a matchup problem. We're going to have to find a way to survive it. I don't know what that guy was doing. <laughs> good return by Peterson. I'm going to go back to our freshman. We're going to go back to the toss. The one touchdown we got was off of this play. So we'll try it again. Let's see if Perro can get around this guy. That's a face mask. Call it. First and ten. Let's go with an off-tackle run with Horton. Zone dime. Just don't shift to the left. Uh, yeah, so the clock has stopped. We can go ahead and snap it, but they're going to beat it. Again, just nothing you can do about that. But what we can do, I'm going to go halfback direct and see how they like it. Looks like they're going with cover one. Don't shift to the left. Thank you. We're going to let that clock run. Hopefully our left tackle can get a decent block here. Get it down to a few seconds. Before we will snap it. Ooh, just enough. Good run by the All-American. Okay. We are on the left hash. Where are we? Like on the 20? Yes, 22. Let's go tight end delay. We're going zone. The clock has stopped. What worries me a little bit is I got a tight end's going to be running this. Let's see. Good catch by the big tight end. Get some yards. We're on the second and four. Let's go slam. Let's see if we can get at least a first down. We're going man, 4-3. I'm going to take a chance to go to the right. We got extra grass to play with. Looks like they're going cover zero. But I feel like I got no choice but to go right. Go ahead and snap it. Just nothing there. Good defense. Uh, we're going to keep it. Let's go toss with Horton. Man 4-3. I'm going a slot. We're doing that. Uh, I'm assuming that linebacker is on Peterson. At least I hope he is. If so, then we can just do a basic toss with Horton to the left, pick up the first down, maybe even a touchdown. They go with the option. Back. Nope. Just nothing. I swear. Nothing going on that I'm going to... I'm going to go back. 
We're going to go direct and see what, how they respond to it. They're going man nickel. Oh, man, this is going to be iffy. If we, I'm, I'm glad that linebacker is so close to the line. Maybe our left guard can pick him up. We're going to go back to the left again. Let's see. Good deal. We picked him up. All right, we're going to get a touchdown. Ah. That scared me. That was actually a good defensive call, but thankfully that linebacker was so close to the line, he got picked up by the guard. Okay, so we're going to tie it back up. There's a minute 40. If we can find a way to stop him, that would be great. Get the ball back and score before half. Kick an extra point. I did not want a field goal. I didn't want to do it. We, I don't think we could beat this team off field goals. If that play had not have worked out, I probably would have called a timeout and a field goal. But I want to at least take one chance first and see how they reacted to it. And thankfully it worked in our favor. This is going to be returned. Baker fields it in the end zone. Oh, scary. Good return. Now they're on the 35. Let's go quarters. I think they're going to pass the rest of the way. Do something like this. And there he goes. Ah, oh, we need a fumble right there. They called a timeout, picked up eight yards. Let's go back to quarters. It's second down and two to go. So, I need to do North Carolina State. spies on the left side, on the other defensive end. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Oh, you got to be kidding. Just We're just getting annihilated right now. I don't know what to do about it. They're just making good plays out there. Let's go. Our defensive line is not doing anything. I'm not feeling, I'm not seeing any rush of any sort. And a touchdown. Here it comes. Wow, look at just another gaping hole. Flag, please let it be a holding. Please. Clipping. That's fine. First and 10 on the 31. That's weird. It should be first and... Hmm. I'm going to do a zone blitz. I'm going to see how he reacts to it. I thought it... Did I hit decline? Surely I didn't do that. Oh, I'm an idiot if I did that. I thought I accepted it. Give it off here. Tries to juke. I thought I accepted it. Uh, okay, never mind. We got to keep playing. I have to go back and look at that. Well, they're they've determined to run it now. They got no reason to throw it. The clock is stopped. They got a timeout. They only need 23 yards to score. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Make a play, somebody. I swear. I had two guys on him. I swear, it's the letdown game. It's just where things just don't go right. It's just going to be a dogfight for us to win this game. Their quarterback is playing perfect football. Or somebody needs to get a sack or something. Force a turnover. And it's against a team that's not going to be nowhere near as talented as like a, the other five or six we got left on the schedule. That's the bad part about it. But it is what it is. I wouldn't be so upset over if it was going up against a really good team. But we're going up against Michael Vick, it appears. So we got to find a way to get through it. Get a block right there. Get a block. Go, Riley. Go, Riley. Go. Big play right there. We're on the 47. We need to get down the field. We got two timeouts. Let's go halfback corner. Going man. Who's on who? He's on him. They come out with three Cover two. Looks. Ah, he dropped it. Ah, dang it. Wasn't really expecting that. Um, That's right. the only reason it's out there is to catch we got plenty of time. Let's go curls. We're going man. And they're doing that. We're going to do something like this. He's wide open. Huge play. Get a block right there. Get out of bounds. Good deal. That's a good play. So 36 seconds, 23-yard line. I'm going to go back and call the same play. They're going nickel. Gates changes the play at the line. 
We can do something like this. We're going to throw that one quick. Ah, just a bad play right there. We're going to have to call a timeout. On the 23, we're going to go back the halfback corner. Going man. Got to be careful here. Who's on who? Ah, another terrible throw. Ah, just awful. Uh, let's try. I'm going to go back to direct. This is too damn territory for me. I and they're blitzing both inside guys. Dang it. That's true. He just needs to put Let's see. We may be able to pull this off. And the man at wide out is in a zone right now. They snap it to the Ooh, just enough. <laughs> get out of bounds. And they push him out. Horton. He's just making it work for us at the moment. On the seven. He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense. I got a timeout. Let's go slam before we get down too far down. Let's go. Okay, good. All that looks good. We'll go to the left. Get a touchdown. Good deal. I tried to slow it down a little bit. So we've tied it back up. But they got 22 seconds. Let's try to find a way to survive that. I don't know what to do defensively. Their quarterback is making just ungodly throws, and they got a running back that's hard to stop. Like I said, it's just a really good combination to have in the backfield. We're going to need a break of some sort, a turnover, get somebody getting hurt. I don't want that to happen, but you know what I'm saying. So let's see if we can get away from these 22 seconds, get to the half with a tie ball game. I think they're just going to run it here unless they get a huge gain. Fields it in the end zone. Nowhere to go there. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass. They're going. I'm going to go nickel man again. I don't think they're going to. I think they're just going to run the ball. The Wolf Pack come out in a bunch formation. Going to pass it. Hmm. Steps up, looking. Bath throw. Nope, of course not. Ah, he didn't get out of bounds though. Gain of nine. That's actually a good play right there. They're going to call something stupid here, aren't they? Watch them call like a speed option. Two, one. Okay. Oh, they're going to go with the toss. Get a stop. Get a stop, somebody. Oh, scary. We got him, though. So we are tied 21 to 21 and a half. Pretty entertaining game. We just need to find a way to stop them. They already got 245 yards. Their quarterback is 8 of 10, playing great. Look at their rush, the yarn average. Of course, the majority of that came off that one big run. But still, they're playing really good football at the moment. We're right there with them. Both teams at 50% on third down. No turnovers. A clean game for both teams. The rest of that doesn't say a whole lot to me. Let's go to individual stats. Gates is 6 of 11. He's had a couple bad throws. Any, I, I, I went after that cover two, that post trap on uh, gun wide trips, half back corner. That's a good cover two beater. But the throw's got to be decent. One of them was really good. The other one, not so much. But anyway, he's doing fine. I wish he could play just a little bit better, but it's okay. Running the ball. Perro and Horton. perro has got the yards. That's pretty much off that one humongous run, but Horton's got the touchdowns. Receiving Horton, Riley, Parker, and Myrick. Just not a whole lot going with these wide receivers. They're playing a ton of man on us, and we haven't had any luck hitting any deep balls as of yet. Uh, defensively, McCoy's leading in the tackles. Tackles for loss of Walker. No sacks, no interceptions. Hopefully these two will go up by the end of the game. All right, let's get back into it. We do get the ball back. We need to get a lead here. This is our one chance to gain a possession. Let's see if we can do that. It's up to Peterson. Let's see if he can get a decent return. His last one was pretty nice. I just, no balking on that dude. Let's think. Uh, I'm going to let Miranda run the ball. He hasn't got to do that yet. I don't mind getting him a touch. Zone nickel. I'm okay with this. Ooh, we'll go to the left. Ah, just good defense. Guy picked him up. Shoestring tackle. We can do another toss with Horton. There's zone 4-3. This may not work all that well. Uh, I'm going to go to the left. All right, let's wait. Hopefully Parker could pick somebody up. Now we can bring him over. Gates, options out, and now he pitches it. He broke his ankle. 
Didn't get the first. Uh, third and two. We'll go slam. Known 4 3. This should be interesting. Oh, uh, man. We'll go to the right. Uh, let's go to the left. Do something like this. Let's wait. Get down to about eight seconds, then we'll move them over. There we go. Do something like this. Just get the first down just enough. Just enough. Let's keep running the ball. Let's go back to pair over, go back and run this play again. Zone, though. 4 3. And they're spreading out like that. What I may end up doing. We're going to bring in Myrick, but we're going to do this really quick. Like, as soon as he passes the tight end, maybe he can pick somebody up. So we're going to do something like this. Option to the right. Pitches back. Maybe Ball can pick him up. No, Ball completely missed that tack, that block. Seven yards there. Uh, let's go. Back to RB deep. Let's pass it. We're going man dime. I see some matchup situations. Something like this, perhaps. We're going to have him come down. I think Peterson has a better chance. The clock is running. We'll either go to Peterson or to Riley. I'd love to go over the top. That would be great. And we're going over the top. So this did not work out well. We may get lucky. Oh, we got lucky. This is super rare. I'm surprised we got the playoff. You're going to notice we may get a decent thumbnail shot. Let's go back and look at something. I, this is the first time I think I've ever seen this. So, for whatever reason, Peterson got caught up on the defender. I can get my cursor on him. He got stuck. Good job by the corner, or by the nickelback. He done a good job there. It slowed down my rhythm. I just didn't know what to do. So, I'm out here moving around, trying to get away from the pressure. And thank the Lord he threw it high enough over those four guys' heads. Otherwise, that could have been an utter disaster. So, we got a break there. So, we're on the 20. Let's do an off tackle with Horton. 4-3. What in the world? Just don't shift hard to the left. Okay, that's doable. The clock is running. We're going to let it do so. I'm going to bring... Uh, let's do Peterson. Get a block right there. Ah, just no block. Maybe he can get through here. Oh, don't fumble it. We're on the 15. I'm going to go back. The curls go man. Ah, they're, they're zoning us to death. Which is fine. No big deal. This will either go to Marcelin or Peterson. I probably need some run audibles. It's probably what I need for a couple of these. But again, I have so many different formations. There's just not enough spots. Ah, Gotta be kidding. So we're, it's third and five. I'm trying to think, what can we, let's go halfback angle? Zone. Uh, this may not work. Uh, I, I don't know if this will work. I don't, very good chance we'll end up going to Briley, and I don't think he can get the first down with that hitch. So what I may end up doing is just calling a timeout. Let's just call a timeout. I hate to burn one. But let's call something else. Let's go. We may have a better chance with the zig. They're going man, so we may not need it. And they're going 4-3, which helps. We're going to do something like this. Touchdown. Woo! Just enough. Thank the Lord they went man. If they would have went zone. Hey, there's one of my other signs. That's cool. Thank you, Coach K. Just in, just enough. Oh. If they would have went zone, that would have been a lot tougher. We still would have had a chance to get a first, but it would have been really close. So, we got our first lead of the game. And we took off three minutes. That's an ideal drive for the situation. So, we're going to get back on defense. If we can somehow force a punt, that would be great. A turnover, that would be better. Let's see if we can do that. We'll continue to run as much clock as we can. Keep it away from that backfield. Gee whiz, that's going to be as good as a backfield we'll face all season. That's a perfect kick. Touchback. 
And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out. out right, of the let's field. stay in cover two. Get the ball here. I feel like outside of just a couple of runs, our run defense has been halfway decent. North Carolina State play action, or not play action. That's a good stop right there. Basic run. Oh, those helmets look great. Uh, I'm going to stay in cover two. They're going with a big set. Do something like this. Play action. Nope. What am I thinking? This ain't play action. Another basic run, but we got the stop. Third and eight. We're going to go cloud. I am not going to do a spy. I'm pretty sure I know what the left spy looks like or how to do it. But let's just see how he reacts to this. Oh, no. Intercepted. He somehow caught that. Wow, that was weird. But we didn't get the first down, so we are going to force a punt. Big play right there. Here's our chance to stretch the lead. If we can get a touchdown here, don't turn the ball over the rest of the game. I think we can win. It's a decent punt right at the middle. Let's just go ahead and fair catch that one. I don't think we have a chance there. I'm going to go halfback dive with Horton. Man 4-3. I bet that guy's coming down the blitz. And he is. Let's just go ahead and snap it. Just get something up the middle. Not bad. Pick up four. I'm going to keep giving it to our best player. I need to run more extra stuff from the from I normal and I twins. I know it looks like all I do is run with them, but that's just my fault for not thinking about running because there's some decent pass plays that fit the offense. I just forget to use them. It happens. Let's run more clock. Let's see if Horton can get a decent gain. This is going to be a good one right here. I'm actually going to go out of bounds. I'm not going to let that dude force a fumble on us. Good play there. Let's go. Curl flats. Going man. This should be interesting. We're going to have Peterson go up top. Cover zero. Go, Peterson. Juco, son. Six points. Ah, great adjustment. Big play right there. Play of the game so far. Great protection. I had a good clean pocket. I even got to step up a little bit into the pocket. Right over the top to Randy Moss Jr. That kid is, is just an absolute freak. Huge play. Let's see if we can get a decent... This may be a good one right here, possibly. That's a good one right there. Then you go something like... That's a pretty good one as well. Not bad. Okay. I'll probably pick one of those two unless something else crazy pops up. So we got our two-score lead. Let's kick an extra point. Let's get back on defense, do the exact same thing we done that last drive. Shut down their running back. We ran cover two. It worked fine. When he gets some chin straps, I need to tell the, the next crew about the chin strap thing, at least with Duke. It may be a team-by-team -team thing, but I don't know if you notice. But we don't have chin straps with any of our helmets, but that's something they can fix later. Unless a few of those guys are watching my video and they hear this, they can go and fix that themselves without me telling them. I'm going to go back to cover two ban. They are going to go with strong twins. Another run. Look at him. Oh, look at him. He's just breaking tackles. I'm going to stay in cover two. That wasn't a a scheme thing. That was a man beast just breaking tackles. Nothing you can do about that play. You just got to hope you can bring him down. All right. Perfect third quarter. We got two scores out of it. Let's see if we can finish strong. Let's go nickel this time. I'd love the blitz every once in a while, but I think that guy will eat us alive if we did. This is the quarterback play. Ah, oh, man, we could have used that play right there. Dang it. Due to a broken tackle, they end up getting the first down. Otherwise, he was going to throw either to that receiver or go back to the quarterback. That kid's good. 
It's just going to take several guys to hit them. One man back for you. Up the gut. Look at that. He ran over me. Another eight yards. The good thing about this is they're running clock. Like, I'm going to let it run clock. Just let it run. Let it run. Let it run. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Right, let's do a cover one. Let's take a chance. Hopefully they don't go over the top. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 47 yard line. Let's do something like this. I'll control the strong safety. Halfback draw. Look at this. I had to come down to make the tackle. Let the clock, oh, let's say the clock has stopped. We'll do cover one again. I'm going to leave it like this. Ooh, this may be a good play for them. Oh, ow! Ow, I could play the whiff on that one. Tremendous run right there. And Four minutes to go. Let's go. I'm going to do another cover one. They're running out of room anyway, so I don't think it really matters. Do something like this. I went the wrong... I, I didn't mean to do that. So I ended up controlling the free safety anyways. I, completely, I thought I was controlling the strong safety. I wasn't paying attention. So we got very lucky there. Let's go crash gold. So now I got Allen in there. He was our starter at safety, free safety last season. Another run play. Look at that. Look at that. There's nothing you can do. He's just going to break his tackles. And that was as easy as a touchdown as you can ask for. Super easy drive. Just right down the middle, right down the field. Breaking five, ten tackles on that drive. Nothing you can do about it. So, you got to get better players. <laughs> That's your only chance. And he hits the PAT. Here's the drive summary brought to you by if impact players didn't exist, the opposing, the CPU would have an even harder time against us. So, I like having impact players in the game. They know how to use them, at least. I mean, they're, they're smart about it. We're going to let that one go. Let's go. Basic slam with Horton. And let's try to run as much clock as possible and get another touchdown. We're doing that. Uh, let's see if, we can, if this will help. Ooh, it may. It may. It may. It may. Just stay in bounds. Ah, oh, did it. Got his out of bounds, which is fine. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, uh, he's a little bit gassed, so let's go to the outside with Perro. I have no incentive to throw the ball at this point. Let's just run as much clock as possible. I think that's a good idea. I'm not going to try to throw an interception. Unless it's going to be super simple throws, something that really can't get picked off. We may try that. I'm going to try this. Get it down about like this. They go with the option. He laterals the ball. Get a block right there. Get a block. Go ball. Go ball. <laughs> what a play, my ball. We may have to give him the ball here in a little bit. I always forget to do that. But this was all Timmy Ball, a.k.a. Timmy Riggins, a.k.a. Texas Forever. Just an incredible play by him. I'm going to go back and look at it. He had two made good block by Myrick. I'm glad I moved Myrick over to get a block and picked up the impact safety. Then I'm just waiting. Just like, get up there. Get up there. Make a tackle. But we're running out of field, so nothing I can really do at that point. But how about ball? Good for him. First and 10 on the 28. Uh, let's go Miranda. Let's go back to Slam. Man dime. And we was able to stay in bounds, too, which is good. Let's clear up some more space. Let's go to the left. And we're going to run as much clock as possible. Keep it away from that offense. Get it down to about one second. Uh, just don't fumble. Pick up nine-ish, eight. I'm going to go right up the gut with Horton. Now, every time I call this play, they go cover zero. Now, watch that safety come down again. Look at that. And they went cover zero again. Maybe we could just go up the gut and... Let's see. I'm going to see if I can spread this guy out. Let's see if that'll help. 
Maybe that, that should bring over either that linebacker or that safety. We're going to try that. A spread. <laughs> Didn't get it. I knew we wouldn't. I just knew it. Third and one. Let's go. If I can get to it, we're going to do a toss. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone number. Man, 4-3. When performance matters the most. Ooh, we're going to do something. We're going to go to the left. But I think I'm going to bring the tight end over again. Cox running. I'm surprised they're not stopping it. It's usually under two minutes when they try to stop it. Do something like this. They go with the option. Ooh, get the outside. Let's just get down. I don't need to score. I just need to run more clock. So they've called their first timeout. We're going to try. We're going to do off tackle with Horton again. They're going man dime. Just do not shift to the left. Please don't. Okay, that's that's doable. I'm okay with that. Riley's going to be double teamed. I, I don't fear that free safety. Let's go ahead and snap it. Almost get the touchdown. Super close. And we score here. That I'm not going to say that's going to do it because their offense is more than capable of going right down the field and scoring. Let's see if we can get a touchdown here. They're going zone 4-3. If this play doesn't work, they're spreading out. We're going to have to go to the right. If this play doesn't work, I'm going to go back to Horton. We're going to go like from the gun and probably do like a halfback direct. Let's go ahead and snap it. Nothing there. Good defense. There's nowhere really to go. But the good news is, look at the clock. Slowly going down. Let's do direct from wide trips. And there's impact safety isn't out there. That's nice. We're going to let that clock roll and roll some more. I think that's the smart decision. Get down to a few seconds. High snap does not help things. That's another timeout. Uh, let's go. Offensive line. High snap. Completely wrecked that one. I still want to run the three. I am. We're going to go to Riley. We're going to go on a tight end around. We're going to really blow their minds here. Or either that or it's going to be a bad play for us. One or the other. But we're going to just do something a little bit different. The clock has stopped. So let's go. Oh, what happened? Oh, I'm an idiot. Then I'll, I'll get a delay game. <laughs> Good job, Bale. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going to call that play. We're on the eight, so we don't have to. What we can do... That's my fault. I wasn't paying attention. So we're going to go with the basic toss, the Horton. And besides, it's third down. Now let's flip it. We're going to flip it. That way I can bring this guy over. How about that? The clock is still stopped. Oh, look at that. Good defense. Good defense. Good job. They're going to call. They're not going to call a timeout, but we are going to kick a field goal. We'll go up two scores and end it for good. Hopefully. Should. Now, this is going to be a tough kick. I didn't. Th one thing I didn't think about is I probably could have stayed in the middle of the field and got an easier kick. But I think we can make this. We're going to have to do this full to the right. If we don't make this, there's, there's still a small, small chance they can win. Or tie it. But that's not going to happen. We're going to get our field goal. We're going to go up two scores, and we're going to end it. 38 to 28. They got 20 seconds. I'm going to kick it like normal. But they're going to do just, you would think, a bunch of deep stuff. Unless they really glitch out on us and don't know what to do on this two-minute drill. Which we've seen in the past happen before. Baker fields it at the three. 17 seconds. We'll stay in quarters the rest of the way just keep everything in front of us we'll do something like this 4-3 defense <laughs> oh there he goes finally got to him good deal he tried to squirm out of there but it didn't work out now here's probably what they're going to do they're going to call something really goofy because the hurry up that's one thing the, the next oh they threw the ball huh 
but that's one thing the next guys may want to look into or ant droid he may have an idea about how to fix that is trying to help the cpu on their two minute drill the hurry up they're just not very good at it most of the time sack good deal and that is the ball game 38 to 20 we got by i mean we played it smart we ran as much clock as we could kept away from that dude that is a really good quarterback and what's he doing wearing 17. they should be retiring that number at nc state if anybody knows what i'm talking about all right let's check out some stats 433 to their 319. all that came down to us just our second half especially but we just ran a ton of clock they ran the ball extremely well, had 10-yard average. They had a really good halfback. It helped. Thank the Lord their quarterback didn't run much. If he did, we'd have an even harder time. He didn't have to, though. He threw the ball really well. Look at that, 10 for 13. Uh, but we done well on offense. 433, we had 164 yards to the air, but a lot of that was on the ground. We ran the ball a whole lot more than we threw it, which makes sense due to the situation. We didn't have any sacks. We done good on third down. They didn't do as well. Both teams played a clean game. No turnovers for either one. Let's go to individual stats. Gates, 9 of 15, two touchdowns. Big thing is no interceptions. Good for him. I'm trying to think where the two touchdowns were. Peterson, I think Horton were the other ones. Uh, rushing. Horton had 20 attempts. He deserved every bit of it. 146 yards, two touchdowns. Good for Perro. Little, little speechster. 116 yards and one touchdown. Receiving. Horton, Riley, Peterson, Parker, Myrick got some touches. Peterson led in yards. A lot of that came off that one play, and he got one touchdown along with, like I said, Horton. You go to defense. Walker and McCoy, these should be your two leading tacklers all season. Only two tackles for loss, Buttles and Walker. One sack by Buttles and no interceptions, but thankfully we really didn't need him today. All right, let's get out of here. Let's check out some top 25 scores for the week. Of course, we beat NC State. Oklahoma beats LSU in a top 10 matchup. Then you have Iowa got upset by Iowa State. Florida beats South Florida. Then you have Penn State over Syracuse. Auburn over Vanderbilt. Maryland got upset by Clemson. Texas Tech over Illinois in a top 25 matchup. Then you have Nebraska beats Ole Miss. Good to see Nebraska in the top 25. Good to see them relevant. You got Washington beating Louisville in overtime. Michigan over Notre Dame. South Carolina over Georgia. Boy, those were the days. Then you have Georgia Tech over Virginia Tech. Florida State over Boston College. Virginia barely squeaks by Wake Forest, who was having a bad season out of the gate at 0-3. Texas A&M destroys Miami, 55-17 in Coral Gables, no less. And then last but not least, we have Oregon State, a top-10 team, over San Diego State, 49-35. Okay, in our next game, we have... Virginia, they beat us last season. Now, we have a 2-1 to one lead over them, but they won the last game. And they're always a tough out. They run a 3-4 defense. They always seem to have mobile quarterbacks. It's going to be a challenge. At least we are finally with them talent-wise, which is good. Now, you look at their stats. Looks like their defense is really strong. Offensively, they're not doing a whole lot. Hopefully, we can take care of business. It's another home game. We may have something special in plan there. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.